Well, hello everybody, uh, I'm Drunk Farmer and welcome to the rant the, the day after the Minnesota-Nebraska game and yeah, that wasn't a good game and I'm going to sit here and the, sit here and kind of, since I kind of cooled down because I was really mad earlier, um, the title of the show is, How Come the Huskers Can't Win on the Road? That's the million dollar question. How come we can't win on the road? It all started one night in Illinois. Then Michigan State. Now Minnesota. We were that close at Michigan State. Illinois was, well, a fucking debacle. Now Minnesota. Oh, dear God. I don't know where to begin. I really don't. It's frustrating. It's a big mystery. It's a puzzle. That Nebraska can't win on the road. You sit there and you watch. When Every time Nebraska goes on the road now, I just cringe. Because I know bad things are going to happen. Well, we went to Minnesota. By the way, a winnable game. You know, if we would have won that game, we would have gotten a little closer to going to a bowl game this year, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But we went to Minnesota, and Minnesota had a good game plan. My hat's off to Minnesota. My my hat's off to those guys. They they had a good game plan. Um, I said it Friday. I said if Minnesota gets ahead of us, they're they're going to wear us out and burn clock and probably win the game. I was right. They did. They wore us out. If you look at the time possession of that game, it's it's Minnesota was had our defense on that field for a very long time. The first half of that game, we looked like shit. We did. We absolutely looked like shit. Can't ex you know? And it was just it was like watching a horror story or a horror movie. Excuse me, a horror movie. Second half, I thought, you know, they started to pick things up. The defense had a couple of interceptions, gave the offense an opportunity. Did the offense get do anything? No, they choked. What's what's with our receivers breaking off on their routes, on their passing routes? What's the thing about that? Because a couple of times Martinez threw the ball. And there was supposed to be a receiver there, and there wasn't. Why did the receivers break off from their routes? Did they break off to go to uh, Starbucks or some coffee or something? Come on, guy. I mean, if I was Martinez, I would be screaming at those guys. I would just absolutely be going out of my mind, to tell you the truth. It was just hardly – communication wasn't there, and that's why we lost. It wasn't a lot of communication. We we shot ourselves in the foot. We uh, missed an extra point. We missed a field goal. Easy field goal. Easy extra point. Missed them both. But he did make a 50-yarder. I'll give him that. Yeah, I'll give him that. He made a 50-yarder. I'll give him that. But after that, it just kind of went downhill. <laughs> like I said, Minnesota had a good game plan. They had an off week. They planted, they plotted, and they basically came out and did what Minnesota does to us every year. Ball control, burn the clock, and wear us out. Well, it's a simple game plan. Tanner Moore, when's he going to leave Minnesota? Good God, it seems like that mother, that guy's been there for, what? He seems like he's been there for years. But he's still the quarterback. He's He looked pretty good. I mean, he did. He found the holes in our secondary. Our secondary needs to work on that. But, yeah, he found the holes. And, uh, yeah. Minnesota ran the ball. Basically, on offense, Minnesota had a pretty balanced offense. Defensively, they were pretty jacked up, and they stopped our offense because sometimes we shot ourselves in the foot on offense. 
it is frustrating, folks. It is frustrating watching Nebraska when they go somewhere, go for an out-of-town game. You just cringe because you know something bad's going to happen, like I said earlier, and it did. We went to Minnesota, and basically th they ran us over with that damn boat. Fucking boat. But like we, I like I said, we didn't play very well, and that's what happened. Now, I mentioned Nebraska getting to a bowl game. My gut feeling, deep down inside, really honestly, we're not. We're not going to a bowl game. For you know, if anybody has any, I I would look. First of all, I would love to see us run the table. I mean, we have Purdue. We have Ohio State here at home. Then we travel to Wisconsin. Oh, well, that's always fun. Uh, going to the Cheesehead State. Play, play Wisconsin at the Madhouse. Yippee, yippee, skippy. Then we come back for Iowa. I would love to see us run the table. And the problem is we have a team that can do it, but they just can't. You know what I'm saying? They have the talent. They have the skill, but they just can't do it. For some unknown reason, we have to shoot ourselves in the foot. And that's frustrating. And that's why we're not going to a bowl game this year. I'm on the I'm still kind of on the fence about Purdue. I, I don't know. Purdue, like I said, they violated Iowa this Saturday, last, you know, Saturday. If you haven't heard, yeah. Purdue beat Iowa. And Iowa got violated. So I'm on the fence about Purdue because that looks like a winnable game too. But and right now, I don't know because Purdue, like I said, just decimated Iowa's defense. And Iowa has a pretty good defense. So does Purdue. Their, their defense is third in the Big Ten. Something to look forward to in about a couple of weeks. Then we have Ohio State. We know what Ohio State does to us every year. They just basically beat us into the ground. Then we go to Wisconsin. We Maybe we have a shot at Wisconsin. I don't know. Maybe we have a shot at Ohio State. I would love to beat one of these damn teams. You know, i like to see us kind of go out in a high note this year because we're not going to a bowl game. So why doesn't Nebraska just, just not, you know, why doesn't Nebraska just do this? You're playing for nothing. That's the most dangerous team. You're playing for fucking pride. So go play for pride. Okay? Maybe you'll beat the Ohio States. Maybe you'll beat Iowa. Maybe you'll beat Wisconsin. Maybe you'll beat Purdue. At least something. Let's end this season on a high note. Instead of a low note. Like last year. Because, good God. Let's end this. I'd like to see us do it. Hell, i like to see us run the table to go to a bowl game. But unfortunately, that's, it's basically, let's say, wishing one hand and shit in the other. I don't think we're going to go, but, you know, it's wishful thinking. So on that beautiful note, um, if you like the show, hit that thumbs up. Uh, if you want to subscribe to the subscribe to the show hit that subscribe button down there below if you have a comment about anything about nebraska positive or negative go right ahead just put it in the comment box below i will read it i'll try to i'll, I'll even answer it um because most of the people i've gotten the comments from are pretty much dead on so there you go so like nebraska's got an off week this week maybe they can get their shit together mm. I don't know. We'll find out. But I will see on on October 29th if for the predict show for sure I will predict Nebraska and Purdue. If something comes up, any big news, I'll be on. But I might take a week off too because I probably do need one. But who knows? I'll be on eventually. You know that. So then... Until then, I'm Drunk Farmer. This has been kind of a special rant. 
and I will see you when I see you. So long, everybody, and go Big Red.